Woo. That's a big building. Hi. Hi. Jared? Yeah, Jared. Wow, welcome, this, is, welcome. this is bigger than I remember. It started when exactly? 1912. And then your father was the one who started this out? Uh, great grandfather. Uh -huh. When he started to handle the business, the business was actually in shambles. So what did he do differently that your grandfather didn't do? He's a real innovator. Whenever there's something new in the baking business, he, he's the first one to adapt. Okay. So we were the first ones to use pillow packing. Yeah, yeah. And then we were the first ones to adapt using uh, X-ray to check whether there are foreign contaminants inside the oven. This is actually the new one. This is called buco paster. Okay. So it's it's very creamy and it's like mm -hmm. eating buco pie. Very good. Bitin lang. We have uh, around 25 different flavors of rock yogurt. What do you want me to start with? I guess the original? Yeah, the original ube. This is where this is it all the foundation of this oh, building. Exactly. Huh? Mm, I notice you're not tipid on uh -huh. the filling. Yeah, so this one is uh, mochi pia. So it's a uh, hop pia with mochi inside. So it's a bit more chewy. Mm. It's unique because of the texture. This one's got pastillas in it? Yes, correct. It's ube, ube pastillas. And pastillas. This is a two-in-one flavor of hopia. Subtle, they don't fight. This is the mongo supreme, creamy mongo filling, and then mm. at the center is actually a salted duck egg. Whoa, okay. The others complement. This has this very pleasant battle going on. So they're all competing for your attention, but it's in a nice way. And this is a fairly new one. Correct, so we came out with a new series for the youngs. Instead of eating it hot, you eat it cold. Makes a difference. It's Correct. so smooth and it's so delicious. So this is uh, one of the newest hopia that we came up with. This is called the pork floss hopia. Feels more like a, a journey rather than a piece of food. You use fresh ingredients. Yes, and everything is sourced locally in the Philippines. And as a something special, the guys and girls from Engbitin have said they're also going to donate to us some special treats for the kids. I told you about that in the intro. We're gonna be going somewhere special with very special people. Well, we're filling our baskets up with more special goodies to throw in and just sweeten it up a little bit for them.